In this video, we will learn about content-based image retrieval and how image similarity may be defined. Content-based image retrieval, or CBIR, also known as query by image content, is the problem of searching for digital images in large databases. Given a query with some description of the content, the task is to retrieve matching images. Content-based means that the search analyzes the contents of the image rather than the metadata such as keywords, tags, or descriptions associated with the image. The term content in this context might refer to colors, shapes, textures, or any other information that can be derived only from the image itself. CBIR is desirable because searches that rely purely on metadata depend on annotation quality and completeness. Having humans Manually annotate images by entering keywords or metadata in a large databases can be time-consuming and may, may not capture the keywords desired to describe the image. U user query may be specified in a number of ways. For instance, a user may specify a textual description or image attribute, but in order to match those, we would require image annotation to be present. A query may be made using an example image with the task of searching for images containing the same object. We also could describe an image in terms of certain characteristics, such as texture or color histogram, or we could specify a query by sketching uh, what should be present in the image. The latter, however, is only very rarely used in practice as of late 2017. In this video, we will only consider answering the queries made using example images. A question then arises, that is to understand, what did the user mean by making the query? The difference between the user intent and what could be extracted from the image is called the semantic gap. What are the possible interpretations of image similarity? One way of interpreting the query might be looking at the content feature specified in the query. For instance, the red query made to a collection of cars might be interpreted as an intent to find red car. Another possibility is the near duplicates, meaning the very same images that underwent little transformations and distortions, such as color alterations, think Instagram, resolution changes, compression, and so forth. Searching for near duplicates is an important task, since we naturally would like to save space by not storing copies of the same image for retrieval. One more variant would be retrieving the very same object or scene captured from a different viewpoint, with a different background or different lighting, and so on. Thus, image registration condition may vary greatly, yet the key object must be the same. Yet another interpretation might be dealing with general visual similarity, meaning that the images should be similar while they could have very distinct nature. Uh, in the slide, you can observe several images with high visual similarity relating to entirely di distinct objects, yet they look similar. The last interpretation is to consider the semantic level similarity only when the same class of visual scenes is being searched for, but when their visual appearance might be substantially distinct. Formulating the image similarity problems gives us, in general, two different problem setups visual image similarity and semantic image similarity. We will only consider visual similarity in this course. For each kind of image similarity and for every possible problem setup, different solutions were proposed, with different descriptions better suitable for its respective problem formulation. Depending on the query interpretation, we can find the best results for different formulation to better answer the query. In practice, however, image search systems utilize various interpretations simultaneously and then aggregate the possible results. For research on image retrieval, one of the standard collections is the Oxford Buildings dataset. It consists of over 5,000 images depicting the main tourist attractions of the Oxford city and university. Apart from these 5,000 images, 100,000 and 1 million images are included in the collection by downloading results of popular search, uh, and searches on Flickr. These are used as noise. Using some of the images as a query, one has to retrieve as many related images as possible. The dataset has 55 images to be used as queries. 
In each image, the object whose uh, other images are to be retrieved is annotated using a bounding box, along with other annotation used to assess the, that object's visibility. To evaluate the quality of an image retrieval method, the top result is obtained for each of the query images. The threshold controlling the similarity between the query and the result is obtained. And then the right to plot the standard precision recall operating curve. Average precision is a numerical metric of how well the method performs that is computed the averaging the obtained precision over all possible recall values. In Oxford buildings, the evaluation only takes objects marked as good, OK or bad annotation into account. Content-based uh, image retrieval systems are all organized in roughly similar way. First, image features are extracted from raw pixels and converted into an image descriptor or representation, the role of which is to serve as a digital signature of that image. All of the image signatures are then written into an efficient data structure called the co collection index. For a test image, we extract the signature and search for nearest neighbors with respect to the specified distance. In the next video, we will learn how to compute an efficient descriptor using computer vision approaches and deep convolutional neural networks. To summarize, uh, content-based image retrieval is about searching and retrieving images from large databases of billions of uh, pictures. In fact, there exist many uh, definitions of similarity that matter for retrieval. Seabear systems extract image descriptors and uh, search for nearest neighbors to retrieve the results in giant image collections.